question comes from Ryan. He's got a very practical question. And writes in the lamp in my Toshiba DLP 56 inch TV burned out and I need to replace it. I was searching online and I was surprised by the price of replacement lamps. I noticed that you could buy just the bulb and save around 50 bucks. Would this be the way to go or should I pay more and get the whole case frame that usually comes wrapped around the bulb? Thanks, Connor. Yeah, I was uncertain of what to do in this situation. I, I would normally just advocate buying the entire module, the, the basically a, a metal box with the lamp already mounted in it. So we're talking about a rear projection? Yeah, HTTV rear projection TVs point? and even front projection, or. Uh, Standalone front projectors too right. usually incorporate a little box around the bulb, and it's, they call that the lamp module. Mm -hmm. And then usually you just you pull that whole device out and you swap it with a new one. However, it is cheaper, like you found, to just buy the lamp module itself, and then swap that out or buy the lamp and then swap that out of the module. Are we talking about like cheaper, like fifty bucks off a hundred dollar lamp, or like fifty bucks off a three hundred dollar lamp? Because I, I, I like the last time I, I priced a bulb for a TV, it was like three hundred bucks. The module I was looking at for his particular TV, they were all in about the $175 range for okay. a name brand So that's like product. a 30% discount. Yeah, so it was definitely some savings to be had. And I, I was uncertain if this should be tried or not, should you actually try taking that lamp module out of the, take the lamp out of the module instead of just buying a whole brand new module. Well, if you're wrong, you only waste 125 bucks. It's true. <laughs> However, I found a great website. It's called fixyourdlp.com, and I have to say, uh, solid, solid recommendations there, mm -hmm. along with some how-to videos uh, specific to whatever particular product you're dealing with. And they had them linked right to YouTube sites uh, right. for uh, doing it up. And it looks like a lot of people have done this successfully. So I'm going to say I would give it a shot. Uh, basically, the remaining parts of the module itself are all reusable. Oh, you just cool. need that new lamp. There are some precautions, and do read these on their site. And namely, don't touch the lamps with your raw fingers. Yeah. The oils will cause differences in heat as the bulb light. Well, it's, it's like changing quartz halogen lamp filaments uh, exactly. or xenon headlights in your car because they hit such ridiculously high temperatures, you get a little finger grease on there. Suddenly that's the cool spot or the extra hot spot and it causes changes. Pop, it'll make a noise and you'll hear it. It'll be great. So and you'll be like, oh, no TV until the next lamp shows up. <laughs> wear gloves, take your time, and I would buy a quality lamp, hopefully whatever the identical lamp is that you pulled out of the set to begin with to cool. replace within that module. But don't fear it. Seems like a lot of people are doing this and saving money as such. On those you like now a recycler. Classic TVs. Well, I guess there's Mitsubishi still out there making rear projections, so <laughs> it's not all over yet. <laughs> it's not all over yet. It's cold, man. They do front projectors. The world will live on front projection for quite a while. I gotta ask before we cut out, what's your favorite ACTV right now? If I could buy it today, uh -huh. I want to get my hands on the C8000 from Samsung. Is that Although, the one with the like the stainless steel ribbon and it's a half inch thick? No, that's their not the C9000 is okay. the 0.3 inch thick version, but the one step back, although I think it probably, I'm curious about the performance difference between the C8000 and 9000, but Samsung's latest 2010, it's 3D capable. Right. It's their 3D flagship TV, but it's got edge lit, but it's black level matches the performance of stuff they were doing a year ago with really? direct lit LED. And I really want to get one in my hands and test that thing out. And that should be one of the finest TVs this year. I'm sure it ain't going to be cheap, but <laughs> yummy. We well, got $1,000. What's which ACTV should be looking at? Ooh. I would be looking toward Vizio, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, or, or plasma technology. There's some great values to be had on Panasonic plasmas, especially some of the new 2010 stuff coming up. I'm really jazzed about what they're doing there. And it's hard to ignore what Vizio is doing in terms of just driving driving costs down for yeah. everyone, especially the new LED sets. And bringing the quality up while that, doing it. LED lighting has really helped improve a lot of, I think, the second and third tier manufacturers' products. Mm -hmm. It's a better quality of light, and it's producing better color quality, better black levels, and uh, producing just a more punchier, longer living product, hopefully. If you're looking for better HD television and HD content to basically show off your HDTV, this man is amazing. Catch him on HD Nation, which comes out Monday nights, I believe. I think Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh, maybe Monday, Monday night. night. Tuesday uh, morning. I always look at it Tuesday. Tuesday morning. <laughs>